Everyone, my name is Jessica Spurdick. I'm one of the freshman admissions advisors here at SUNY Plattsburgh. Today I'll be doing a general overview of what your four years at Plattsburgh will be like, um, and you'll have a couple of opportunities to talk with two of our student panelists, Andrew and Andrea. bit about who we are as a campus. Plattsburgh was funded in 1889, essentially as a school based on education. So we've got that since then. We now have over 60 different major minors that students are able to choose from. Uh, we represent over 25 different states and 65 different countries. Uh, we're also about a middle-sized school, so about 5,400 students or so. But we have a presentation about you and all of the questions that you're probably thinking about right now, like what I want to be, how far away from home do I want to go, um, how much do I want to spend for my education, and hopefully throughout this presentation, uh, we'll be able to lay out a lot of those answers, and hopefully uh, by the end of this presentation, all of your answers will be leaning towards SUNY Plattsburgh. So one of the first things that happens once you've been and have been accepted and have committed to SUNY Plattsburgh is going to orientation. This is really your first taste of Plattsburgh, so you have the opportunity to come up over the summer for a couple of days, get to know all of the different students. Uh, you'll potentially meet a roommate, uh, as well as registering for our classes. So at Plattsburgh, we really won't touch anything that has to do with housing up until uh, once August just because you never know who you'll meet at orientation. You may also meet people through Facebook or through social media. So um, orientation is just a really fun time for you to not only to get to our campus, but also uh, the surrounding area of uh, where we're located. Students that are interested in the outdoors, we have something called the Odyssey. So it's about a week-long excursion where about 60 students or so are able to go hiking and camping, kayaking, really orient themselves to the North Country and get to know um, some of the different high peaks that we have around the area. So while your parents have dropped you off and you're settled, um, your open week is going to be really fun and exciting, uh, maybe a little nerve-wracking at first, but once you move in, you're really going to start to get to know your roommates as well as your RA. Um, your RA is someone that lives on your floor. Uh, they like to put on different social events, usually involves different um, and really getting to know all of the different people that are on your floor and your future friends. Um, you'll also have a couple opportunities to really get to know um, our kids. So there's a couple events that happen, like a quick jam session, where uh, they'll shut down one of the streets and they'll have a little car and food and music, and it's just really fun. Um, you'll also have the opportunity to explore off campus. So, Plattsburgh is broken up into a couple different sectors. The first one being uptown Plattsburgh, where students have access to a mall, a movie theater, we have just about every fast food place on the face of the use. And students are able to take their free shuttle right up that runs about every 15 minutes or so um, if you don't feel like taking that walk. We also are downtown Plattsburgh area. It's about a 10-minute walk from our campus. So students are able to check out all the different restaurants. They're able to see all the businesses, maybe take a walk around Lake Champlain. So it's a really accessible area to walk around yep. in. Um, we even have a beach, believe it or not. So it's one of the largest freshwater beaches in the United States. So a lot of students will do volleyball tournaments right before uh, they really start to get into this swing of things for classes. Um, but you'll also be in classes your first week as well. Your first semester is essentially broken up into three different or five different classes. So each semester is around five or so, give or take. Um, and your first semester could either have general education courses, so your basic science and history, or it could be leading towards different programs that you're in. So maybe um, you're currently taking AP courses or college level courses in high school and you're filling um, those education requirements. So 
electronic communication studies major, you can start taking those uh, general education requirements. We also have an honors program. So for students that have applied about two weeks after they've been given their acceptance, they're going to receive a packet as well as an invitation to the honors program. So during this time, it's kind of broken up into two different parts. So the first part, your freshman and your sophomore year, are filling those general education requirements, but you're being taught by the most prestigious faculty members with the students. Uh, you're also in a round table, so the classes are capped off of about a few students or so. And your, or your junior and your senior year is going to be uh, working on actually graduate work. So if graduate school is something that you want to do, you will be forming a thesis, you will be defending it, and then you'll be presenting it towards the end of your time at Plattsburgh. To help our students, it's also going to be through support. So maybe you're out, you really appreciate having those small class sizes in high school. Um, you really appreciate having a successful teacher. At Plattsburgh, it's very similar um, to that as well. So our average class size is around 22 students. Our professors are teaching all of these courses. We have a couple teaching assistants, but all they'll do is after test, take attendance, maybe do some study review sessions, um, but they are mandated to have office hours. So a couple times during the week, they have a certain amount of time where you're able to walk in and talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. You can ask for a clarification. You can ask them for help or to help them go through a test. So a lot of opportunities as far as seeking support through your professors. But you also have advisors within SUNY Plattsburgh. So depending on whatever major it is, um, you'll have an advisor within that department. So if you are interested in business admission, you'll have an advisor within that program. Um, another support system we have is through the Learning Center. So if you want to maybe bring your GPA up from a C plus to a business, you can win, get tutored by a peer for about an hour or so. It's free. And then you pay. You can go once a week. You could go once a month or once in your entire spurt. Um, but it's just nice to know that you're going to have a lot of support when you're in college. And lastly, we have the student support services. So for any students that have a documented learning or physical disability, they can fill out the necessary paperwork and they will be accommodated in any way, shape, or form. So, you know, you may be juniors, you may be in high school, and you're really thinking about what I want to study. Um, as for, again, we have over 60 different majors and minors to choose from, so the list that you see on the screen is definitely um, a more condensed version of the programs that we have, but um, Asperg is essentially broken up into three different schools. So the first school is the School of Arts and Sciences. It's where a lot of the general education courses are, um, but it's broken down into three different subcategories. So the first is going to be uh, Arts and Humanities. Pottsburg is a really big art school. We consider ourselves a museum without walls. So um, if you come up to Pottsburg, you'll see that artwork is displayed all throughout our campus. So we have things like uh, graphic design, studio art, ceramics, photography. But we have a, a pretty um, impressed communications program as well, which falls under this uh, category. So Pottsburg actually just recently underwent a pretty intense renovation to the communication filmmaking and uh, reaction, audio production, things like that. Um, social sciences is going to be the next subcategory, so things like psychology, criminal justice, political science, and the last subcategory is going to be the natural sciences, so things like physics, uh, biology, chemistry, biochemistry, uh, among other sciences as well. The next that we have is, is the School of Education, Health, and Human Services. So as I mentioned earlier, Plattsburgh was funded as an education-based school, and we will stand pretty true to those roots. So we have a, a couple different programs to really emphasize education. One of them is going to be adolescent BA MST program. So students are able to receive their master's in five years instead of six. They don't have the degree, which is essentially the SAT but worse. 
and taking some graduate courses at an undergraduate price. Um, we also have communication disorders, so programs like audiology and speech pathology. We have judiciary studies, so for students that are interested in becoming a ranger or a park ranger or just want to be one else, um, these students have to plan and execute their own expedition. We also have thing, which is definitely the most competitive program that we have on our campus, um, but it's a dress and mitt, so these students are nursing students the moment they've been accepted into Plattsburgh. Um, they had a 98% passing rate on their exams, so they're doing phenomenal and getting jobs pretty quickly, uh, as well as social work and nutrition. It's pretty rare to find that within the student system. So that we have is the School of Business and Economics. We are a CSB accredited, which is essentially um, an international accreditation. We're pretty proud because there's about 650 schools in the world with it. So for Plattsburgh to have it in one state, New York, is pretty cool in my book. Um, within our School of Business and Economics, it's pretty neat in a, a sense where um, with some schools, you can receive your degree in business administration with concentrations in accounting and financing and all that stuff. Um, but at Plattsburgh, the analyst program. So you can get your bachelor's degree in entrepreneurship, global supply and demand, hotel, restaurant, tourism management. Um, and what's great about this school is that it's very easy to do a double major and still graduate within those four years. You're also um, one of that you're having fun within campus. And class for a really great job at, at balancing out academics as well as student life. So we have more than 100 different clubs to choose from, anywhere from academic clubs, center societies, to uh, clubs like Hula Hoop and Zombie Defense and Harry Potter, the Hula Hoop Club. So a lot of fun ways to get involved within our campus. You know, it's all events, so a lot of different show gatherings, whether it be pizza bees and ice cream socials and movie nights. But you can also create your own club. So if you come to campus and you can see that there's one club that we necessarily don't have that you want to create, you have the ability to do that through the student association. Maybe you are currently being recruited for a sport and you make sure that the school that you go to has a pretty impressive um, team. At Plattsburgh, we have 17 NCAA Division three sports um, around the cross soccer, to baseball, track and field. Uh, we are a huge ice hockey school. So our men and women's teams are both NCAA Division III champions. And our women's team have won that title the past three years. Um, so it's very fun to go out and watch these games. We have a club called the Red Zone Cheer Squad, where students will basically be red. They'll go to all the home games, really show that home court advantage. And it's just fun. They, they provide a really fun atmosphere that a lot of students appreciate. We have a lot of club and intramural sports, so maybe you are an athlete, but you don't necessarily want to continue playing at a collegiate level. Um, you can still play things like baseball, basketball, soccer. We even have a rugby team. So it's really fun. So they said we have a state of the art fitness center, we have an Olympic site swimming pool, as well as an indoor rock climbing wall. What um, be North Country, you are routed by the Adirondack Mountains, so you can go skiing and hiking, uh, and it's just fun. It's a great way to stay active. I'm going to turn it to our student panelists. If you have any questions, which it looks like we do, um, so we can go ahead and start. One of them is how big is freshman gen ed classes? So my first, my the largest class I was in was probably about 35 students. Um, so education classes, you know, public speaking, introduction to communications, um, getting 101 uh, classes like that. They uh, classroom has a at few sizes. Um, they're small class sizes. Um, the budget is very over that, and they do what they can to uh, to make sure the classes are small. So kind of for that, you have a lot more students. You have the freedom to kind of get this to work for you because of the smaller class size. Even in classes, my um, professor is my name, even in my biggest classes, which is about 40. So that was the highest. Okay. I can't. 
Um, were on campus living arrangements like? <laughs> like your freshman year, what was about the residence hall that you lived in and your roommates, and how, what about that process? So you have the option. We have freshman housing, which you, which a lot of um, students choose to live in, but you also don't have to. I chose to live in freshman housing. I, I lived in white space. Um, a lot of people choose to find a roommate online. I just did it randomly, and I still live with her today. So I really like living in freshman residence hall because everyone is in the same boat. Everyone keeps their door open. Everyone wants to make friends. It's a lot of fun. You also, um, the freshman, I had a community advocate as well as a resident Assistant. So that was a support system that I had. So I'm sorry to my question here, but to kind of add that, my sophomore year I lived um, in a building hood hall uh, with actually a time that I met uh, Whiteface Hall, the freshman building. So we got to wait together and we went and we lived in a suite building. Um, so that actually ended up working out really well for us. Um, situation with Andrea, I had uh, a roommate my freshman year. Um, still live with him today, so it worked out pretty well. Another question is, how do I get recruited on the sports team? If you visit um, the website under sports, there's a tab where you can fill out um, what sport you would be interested in, your contact information. Um, may ask for different stats, so if you're a runner, uh, what events you do, how fast times are, things like that. Uh, and then from there, the coaches will usually reach out to you um, if they haven't heard from you or, or spotted you themselves. In terms of visiting the school for a tour, my family is far enough away where we have to stay the night at Plattsburgh area. Is there any place where you recommend we stay? So, Long Island. So do your parents are? Um, my parents, they always stay at, uh, um, I think it's um, I think. Also at Hampton Inn. There's a few because um, we'll stop in Plattsburgh. The guys are going to Montreal. So there's a lot of hotels right here in Plattsburgh. I think major hotel chain has a shop set up in Plattsburgh. <laughs> and what this is that if maybe one to stay in Lake Placid or Burlington, we're very, very close to both of those places, so about an hour from either distance. So you could really kind of stay anywhere as a base when you're traveling. Do you guys have any questions about diversity? Uh, oh, the numbers off the top of my head. I know Placid is one of the first Yeah, SUNY Plattsburgh is the second most culturally diverse four-year SUNY school. So I think a lot of that has to do with our business accreditation being internationally recognized. Uh, it also has a lot to do with where we're located. So we get a lot of people from Canada just because it's like 30 minutes away. Um, but we also see a lot of students from China, Japan, um, really where. And we have a, a study abroad program all this year schools do, and I'll, I'll touch up on that a little bit later, but it allows students constantly um, kind of very interesting prospered. I think might be too easy to make friends with other students on campus as freshmen. Great question. <laughs> um, absolutely. I think that that's the things I didn't choose when I came to Plattsburgh because everyone really just wants to make connections and make new friends because we're all coming from high school. We've had this set of friends that you have for so long. Um, so I met people through different people just in class and talking to them. So it was definitely really easy once I put myself out there and decided I wanted to make friends. Um, you know, in a freshman building, then, you know, come to you. But they also see you throughout the different organizations that we have on campus. Um, I've never encountered an organization that, that you know, they or turn me away or anything like that. All of them are really welcoming. They, they 
you really want to get um, involved on campus. Um, again, as a freshman, all right, move to the second part, and then you will have the opportunity to ask more questions later. Okay, so you guys kind of figured out what your freshman year is going to be like. Like, what heck? So, what are my next three years at Oxford going to be like? You may decide that you might want to add a second year or add on a minor. At Plattsburgh, since we have so many different programs that you can go into, it's really easy to pair up a lot of different unique majors together. So maybe you're a marketing major and you want to go into advertising. Picking up a design is really going to help you um, with getting knowledge and experience to really present yourself with different job opportunities. Uh, if you're a social worker and you want to learn more about the mind and the site, Psychology is a phenomenal program to pair together. Uh, if you want law school, pair up things like criminal justice and political science are really going to go well together. So it's really important that you talk to your advisor because they can really help with telling you uh, the different pairs that would work and would still allow you to graduate from college in four years. Uh, personally, I was a communication studies major with a minor of business, um, and I thought the pair were together. And what you want at Plattsburgh that the professors really want to make sure that you're getting a hands-on experience so that you're as prepared as possible when it comes to internships and going out for those jobs. You already know how to do things. So at Plattsburgh for our nursing students, now we have a nursing skills lab where we simulated humans that will talk to you and give birth. They can go into cardiac um, but clinicals are also going to be right across the street at CDPH. Um, it's the largest hospital north of Albany, so it's nice to have it right in our back pocket. For students interested in communication, we have uh, Due North and Cardinal Point, which is our magazine and our newspaper on campus. We all have something called PSTD, so Plattsburgh State TV. It's a student-run TV channel where students are creating their own SNL skits and ESPN and who's and telling them um, how we work and edit different types of material. For students that are interested in sciences, we have the Lake Champlain Valley Research Institution where we get you out on some engineer collecting water samples. Um, we also have something called the Minor Institution, which is more agricultural based. Um, and we have a pretty impressive science building. So we have access to a DNA sequencer, a fingerprinting lab, an MNR machine. So you're really going to start researching if it's something that you're interested in pursuing. Uh, for our psychology students, we have a traumatic injury center, uh, as well as a speech hearing clinic for students interested in speech pathology and biology. So you're really going to get an extremely unique experience while you're at Plattsburgh. And one thing those hands-on experiences, proud towards, you know, the sophomore year or going into your junior year, students will start applying for different internships. So the list that's populated on the screen is by no means um, the whole list of where we've seen a lot of our students go to, but it's where we see students frequently going to um, places like NBC, ABC, CS, we have students who have EM, KPMG, National Geographic, um, all over the place. So it's really important that not only you also talk to your internship coordinator. So within every department that we have at SUNY Plattsburgh, um, there's going to be an internship coordinator for each of your majors to kind of help you along the way. And if you know, land of the internship and start to kind of figure out how to become a leader or really have your leadership qualities show, you may want to start holding more responsibility throughout your next one or two years at Plattsburgh. So um, you may want to become a part of the executive board in your club. So every club we have, there's a president, a vice president, secretary. So it's really going to show you how to really put yourself out there. Um, we have something called Project Help. So for students that are 
interested in volunteering or maybe volunteer a lot within their community, you can continue to do that at Glassburg. Maybe you had a phenomenal freshman year experience and you want to become a name. What's great is you have a free reward and you'll also get a pretty nice chunk of your dining um, hall cut in half, as well as different campus jobs and Greek bikes. Some of you may be interested in studying abroad while you're in college. Since we are SUNY school, we have over 500 different opportunities for you to check out the world at SUNY Plusburg's price. So you could go for as long as you prefer. You could go for a semester, a spring break. Um, it can really gear towards how long you want to be away, um, where you want to go. We also have something called the National Student Exchange. So maybe you're interested in going to graduate school or for a semester, you can go to a school of your choice at SUNY Plastic Sweden and really get a feel for the location of the school. So once you've done your second year, you've landed that major or created a double major, um, you have internship, you studied abroad, now it's really time to start preparing yourself for your next step. Third, we have something called the Career Development Center. So when it comes time for internships and job opportunities, you can kind of walk in. They'll help you with creating a resume, a cover letter. They'll do mock interviews. So they'll tell you what you did great, what you need a little extra help with, um, as well as helping with your graduate applications or job applications. And they're really going to do everything that they possibly can to make sure that you're as prepared as possible to go out into the real world. We're in far uh, sooner than you think it will, uh, even though now you're still in high school and juniors or maybe seniors now, your flies are, are going to fly really fast, and then it's going to be time for searching for those jobs and finding um, the perfect one that you've always wanted and making sure that you are as prepared as possible. That's where you're really notice that you know, you've done your research and you've done everything that you possibly can do. Um, and you need to go out there and nail those interviews and get those jobs. So now ask our current students about all the things that you've done. Well, I'm in charge of the uh, Plus Street Red Zone. Uh, like you mentioned before, the Union Athletics, I'm the president of that. I'm involved with uh, the marketing Honor Society, as well as the Entrepreneur Bonner Society, and a ton of other things like I have time to get to. <laughs> um, I'm the president of Council for Exceptional Children. I'm in an, an honor society called Kappa Delta Pi. Or it's an educational honor society. I'm also in a leadership honor society, and I work campus. So there's a lot to do here. Let's get involved. So, do you declare a minor or a major while you're at Plattsburgh? Um, I know I know one of the part of the program for early childhood special education, so I've stuck with that. But um, I've had so many friends change their major out of a few minors, so um, it's really common. Added leaders. Um, so kind of my path. Uh, sitting with my advisor one day, and he I could graduate a year early if I drop these two majors, and he explained to me that you know take my second major, blah blah blah. Uh, so now I'm just a marketing major, a year early. So today graduating a year early is going to be more beneficial to me than you know having another minor under my belt, which you know might think have the overlap of courses, so two business degrees. Um, probably it would be helpful, but graduating a full year early is what we just said be uh, more for me in the long term. Looks like about the snow. Um, <laughs> it actually has not snowed as much as I anticipated. I um, am Albany, so for us, we actually received more snow than in Plattsburgh. Um, and I spent the last year living in Orlando, so I was very nervous <laughs> about moving up to Plattsburgh. But we had 
a snowstorm last week. It snowed a little bit today, mm -hmm. but other than that, yeah, I was surprised about the snow too. I'm about an hour outside of the city, and we get way more snow. My dad calls me every time he's shoveling snow. I have to <laughs> remind him that, that we don't need snow. <laughs> Looks like. Um, let's see if there's any other questions. So, the facilities you offer to students, especially those living outside. Um, Andrew, you live off campus, right? Yes, I do. doing 
doing, we're starting grad work later on. So it's really nice. We're really getting prepared and we're in the field all the time. Graduate of graduate school is the same as that teach at graduate level or teaching on their levels, but you get to know them in your freshman year and you can have them all the way through um, to your graduate degree. And we have a lot of different graduate programs, so things like psychology, um, we have thing in speech pathology, we have a, major, a graduate program in um, types of programs, so it's really something that you're going to have to take a look at, but I think the only program where you don't have to take the jury is with the BA MST program. Uh, it looks like someone asked about the 3 plus 2 program physics, uh, and if it's with SUNY schools, for the 3 plus 2 program, it's three years at Plattsburgh, and then it's two years at a school of your choice. You students are either going to Clarkson or the University of Buffalo. So you have different options. Uh, but within your five years, you're going to receive two bachelor's degrees. So one is going to be within physics, and then the other one is going to be within engineering. Um, what's one more? Someone who asks, is it easy to manage having a major and a minor together? Well, the major trams are designed to have another minor with it. Um, a lot are set up to be, you know, with them. Um, you know, especially within the business program, regardless of which one it is, whether it's economics or marketing, they all follow the same course line. So it's not until a year that, you know, you're only taking classes with accounting majors. Everyone else within the school of business has to take, you know, classes. Advisor in your major, and I don't think that you can complete it um, in a realistic amount of time. I'll advise you not to take it. We work very close with our advisors here, so that's also a really good thing to mention. Which by my advisor <laughs> to drop a couple of my majors. <laughs> right, looks like we have time for one more question, which would be how would you describe the dorms? Um, I like the dorms. Um, I like people complain of the smaller stuff. I mean, it's a collar. You, you can't expect five-star living. Um, but I play a lot of space. Um, me and May, we were both um, from uh, houses where we both had our own rooms. So we were both aware of each other, very aware of you know, each other's personal space. Uh, having that, that kind of helped out. Um, but we had more than a place for ourselves. Um, buildings are typically quiet. Um, depending on you know, where you're living, but I like the dorms. It's a true experience. It might be an adjustment at first, but overall it's just what you expect college to be, and it's just it's a really fun time. You're living with your friends 24-7, which is something you never really get to do other than when you're in college. Yeah, so it's going to be uh, two beds, two desks, two dressers, two closets. Um, so they are enough to live comfortably, I think, at least. So things up, um, you may kind of right now want to know about the different statistics and the numbers. So what we're basically looking for is a student with an 85 to a 91 high school GPA. Uh, there is a lot of ability in either direction, though. Uh, if you've taken the old SAT, we're looking at on a 990 to an 1120. I'm sure most of you are now in the process of taking the new SAT, though, around the 1070 to an 1180. Uh, if you're taking the ACT around a 21 to a 25. For any of our transfer students out there, uh, a GPA around a 2.6 to a 3.3. Um, keep in mind, if you think that you're surpassing those expectations, you could eventually receive a scholarship. So $4 million annually is going to go towards um, scholarship opportunities. And to see what you're eligible for, you can visit our website, and we have a scholarship calculator where you can kind of compute that information in it. It'll tell you right then and there what you would be eligible for based on the information. Thank you. Um, for SUNY Plattsburgh, we're a school based on rolling admission. We'll have a hard date or deadline on when it's 
association should be viewed by. Um, for our freshman class, we recommend that students apply around December 1. For nursing students, we suggest that you apply as soon as you possibly can. For senior year, um, if not by November 1, the latest, we only have 55 spots for about a thousand applications. So you want to make sure you're on the top of the list. Um, you want to be able to file your FAFSA by December 15th, and then all of your deposit deadlines are going to be due by May 1. If you're thinking about coming in the spring, um, you want to apply by November 1st, as well as filing that FAFSA with your deposit deadline being December 1st. So I really suggest that you all stay connected. Um, if you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, or do the hashtag my class visit or my class life, you can get a sense of what, what our students really think about the campus and um, what fall in love with it. And I think it's a great way for you to get to know her before you take that trip up if you haven't done so already. At this point, I'm going to open up for any last minute questions um, and then we can log you off. And it looks like we have a couple. Um, one question regarding to transferring, I would suggest calling us um, tomorrow morning, and from there we can make sure that uh, credits are kind of pairing up with which classes for SUNY Plattsburgh, um, um, which freshman dorms are best, both in or what state. It's going under 20 rain right now, so I if it's going to be a freshman dorm when it we open. Uh, right now, it's Moffitt Hall. That's a, a suite style uh, building, and Whiteface is a corridor style building. So it really depends on what you're looking for. Um, I went Whiteface, so that's the best. This is no big debate. They're really the same building. I <laughs> 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 like, well, this is better. Whiteface is better. Um, either one, you'll be happy enough. <laughs> that's all for our questions. So thank you so much for joining us, and hopefully, we'll see you real soon.